Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Readsy. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the differences between internal and external conflict. Conflict is integral to storytelling. It's the thing that prevents characters from getting what they want, therefore raising the stakes, creating narrative tension, and ultimately just fueling the story and character arc. A story without conflict usually isn't a story. You want the conflict in your story to be compelling, meaning that it's original, it's interesting, and it asks questions the reader wants the answers to. It's logical, meaning it makes sense with the storyline and characters that have been established, and there's consistency and cause and effect to how the story unfolds, as well as emotionally impactful, meaning the conflict matters to the characters and the characters matter to the reader. Today we're going to be looking at this really important and classic dichotomy internal versus external conflict. Now stories typically need and have both types, though some stories will put more emphasis on the internal conflict or more emphasis on the external conflict. But most of the time stories will have both types and the internal and external conflicts will work together to complicate the plot and further the character development. So let's start by talking about the external conflict. External conflict is a struggle between a character and an outside force preventing that character from getting what they want. This could be conflict between two characters who maybe both want the same thing, or one character is trying to prevent the other character from getting what they want. Or it could be on a larger scale where a character is up against natural or societal forces. External conflict provides fuel for a plot. It gives direction to a concept. The external conflict creates objective obstacles that the character runs into and that they have to overcome. External conflict can also be connected to the story's themes, whether by revealing traits of the main character and how they face or react to these obstacles, or these obstacles could actually be symbolic or representative of ideas in the story. So for an example of external conflict, let's look at the TV series Game of Thrones. The main question of the show is who will sit on the Iron Throne at the end? And because there are so many different characters who want the same thing, power, in the form of the Iron Throne, well, there's only room for one. So it creates a lot of conflict as all these different characters are at odds with each other because they all want the same thing. On the flip side, let's look at the internal conflict. Internal conflict is the conflict a character has within themselves when they battle with the ideas, values, or desires that keep them from getting what they want. This is the conflict that takes place inside the character's heart and mind. And it's also what gives weight and importance to the external conflict, because it's what creates the emotional stakes. Internal conflict is key for a story. What readers often care about regarding the external conflict is actually the point where the external and internal conflict intersect and there are personal emotional stakes for the main character. Internal conflict is also key for establishing a character arc because it gives the main character something they must face and overcome within themselves. So if you're writing a dynamic character, you're going to need some form of external conflict. So let's look at an example from The Hunger Games with the main character Katniss. The Hunger Games has very clear external stakes. The main character is in a death competition where if she doesn't survive by killing the other contestants, she'll be killed herself. However, internal conflict comes from the battle between Katniss's reluctance to kill another human being and her need to survive. Even though The Hunger Games has very clear external conflict with very high stakes, it's the internal conflict that makes it impactful. If Katniss started the book with no reluctance about killing at all, we wouldn't have to watch her weigh her morals and her life and watch her question whether she'll be able to even live with herself if she survives. It creates moments of impactful choice throughout the narrative and we're able to see her evolve. So does the story need both internal and external conflict? Well, the answer is no, really just because there are no hard and fast rules in writing, but most stories will have both. And that's because they bring levels of nuance to each other. Internal conflict gives nuance and meaning and personal stakes to the external conflict, whereas the external conflict forces the main character to face their internal conflict by creating situations where their values and desires are tested or revealed. In fact, this is usually a sign that you have a complex protagonist on your hands if their reaction to external obstacles reveals their flaws and struggles, creating internal conflict. 
that's all for this video. I'll leave a few related videos on things like conflict, tension, and character arcs in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time, bye!